Hi, okay, so today I wanted to share my um, healthy quinoa chili recipe. So um, I have all my ingredients over here. Um, this is a recipe, it's pretty healthy, it's pretty clean. And the good thing about it is that my three year old likes it. So it's healthy and she likes it. So that's a win in my book. And also it's warm because it's freezing outside. Okay, so here are the ingredients. Oh, apparently we need a squishy burger. Um, okay, <laughs> anyway. All right, so I have all the ingredients out here minus the seasonings. I have the seasonings over there. Um, all right, so it's a quinoa-based chili, so obviously you need quinoa. I already have um, about two cups, or I think it makes about three cups, actually. It's one cup uncooked, so I think that yields about three cups cooked. Um, that, so quinoa, uh, minced garlic, onions, bell peppers, you can use whatever kind of bell peppers you like. I just like to do one of red and one green. Tomato paste, um, diced tomatoes, you can either, I like the petite ones just because they're not as big of chunks, um, but you can use whatever. A can of vegetable broth, pinto beans, kidney beans, and um, corn. And then also the seasonings are black pepper, chili, paprika, and cumin. Okay, so to start out, I'm just going to add in a couple um, capfuls. I don't really measure anything, to be honest. I just go based off of looks. A um, couple capfuls of olive oil. And then I'm going to add in some of my frozen onion. Of course, you can use fresh onion if you like. I'm also adding in like two tablespoons of um, minced garlic. So I added my can of tomatoes and then I'm going to add in about two cups of quinoa approximately. I might add in more. I just kind of go based off of like what the consistency is looking and feeling like to me. Yeah, that's about good. And then I'm going to add in our beans. So one can of pinto beans. One can of dark red kidney beans. A can of corn, whoops. Well, I'm probably not gonna use all the corn. We'll see. I'm gonna give that a mix for now. And then I'm gonna add in a second can of red tomatoes. And I'm going to add in a second can of diced tomatoes. Give that a mix. And then I'm going to add in our diced bell peppers. And try not to make a big mess like I did. <laughs> How much vegetable broth you choose to use is like totally up to you. I know some people like their chili kind of runny and other people like it thick. I kind of like it somewhere in between. It's not super soupy, but this isn't like just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, don't listen to me. And then like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and add the seasonings, but I don't measure anything, so just go based off of what smells good, and then you can t taste it, and then add more as you see fit. I don't like to add too much to begin with, just because um, Riley doesn't like things to be super spicy, so I can always add more seasoning to mine later on, 
but if it's too spicy then I'm gonna have a meal that my toddler is not gonna touch so I'd rather go pretty light first and then like I said just add more personal to my bowl later on just kind of go based off the of smell give it a good mix Okay, now I'm just gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 15, 20, or uh, 25 or so minutes. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I totally forgot to add in the black beans. I forgot to even take these out in the first place, so yeah. We're gonna add those in there too, because why not? You got pin pinto beans, kidney beans, black beans, all sorts of beans. Beans are good for you, right? Okay, just mix that in there and then cover and let simmer. <laughs> Okay, so I realize this video is just like a giant mess, so I'll be sure to leave all the ingredients and like approximate measurements down below and then you can just kind of adjust it how you like and that way it's all in one area and you're not as scatterbrained as my pregnant ass is, so <laughs> check down below. <laughs> Alright, and this is what it looks like after it's all cooked. Um, the broth kind of gets a little bit darker and it looks a little bit more like chili, I guess. Um, and then I would just serve it with some cornbread and... Riley, you gonna eat your dinner? Yeah. Yeah? Do you love this chili? Chili's your favorite, huh? Oh, you like the cornbread? Yeah. You like the chili too, right? Yeah. Yeah.